Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So I've got quite a cool video to show you today. I'm going to be prepping out a partial small ichthyosaur paddle. Here's what the rock looks like. You can see it's a very water-worn or sea-eroded rock. There's also quite a few bones on the back, probably a few ribs or something like that. But I think I'm going to be only prepping the front today. So this particular fossil has been found locally on the local beaches. You can see it's probably been eroding out amongst a few rocks for quite a while until it was found. Here's a great example of what the ancient sea creature would have looked like. You can see it's got four different paddles. Here's a very large example. It'd be amazing to find this on the beach. I find these ancient fossils after cliff falls locally. Complete and articulated examples are very rare. I'll be using a variety of different fossil preparation methods to make it look hopefully amazing. I'll be using some powerful air pens linked up to my large compressor and also I'll be using a little bit of acid to get it nice and crisp looking at the end. Before we start working away at the rock I'm gonna show you another paddle find that I actually picked up quite recently and I prepared it to what I think is a really nice high standard hopefully you all agree when I originally picked this one up I was quite surprised after preparing it because it didn't look like much originally on the beach but inside were lots of paddle digits I'll be filming the whole fossil preparation process today so hopefully you enjoy it it'll be great to see the two prepared fossils together side by side at the end the very first thing I'll be doing is applying a little bit of Paraloid B72 to the bones. This makes them a little bit more protected when I'm preparing them and hopefully they won't be as flaky. It doesn't really matter if a bit of the Paraloid gets onto the matrix because we'll be removing that anyway. We just want it to seep into the bone mainly. So now all the Paraloid has been applied to the ichthyosaur paddle, the pen work can begin. So now into the workshop I go, I'm going to power up my air compressor and get my air pen ready. The first thing I notice while starting to prepare this rock is it's extremely hard. The rock is super pyritic, meaning it's very difficult to pen off. I keep going with this air pen for a little while, but eventually I switch to my more powerful one. If you look closely at the matrix where my pen is leaving these marks, you'll see it's quite green looking. It's very pyritic, it's almost like gunmetal. Fossils with iron pyrite present are much more difficult to prepare. You need stronger air pens and sharper tips. I start clearing out the matrix. I'm basically trying to make the individual paddle digits more 3D in their appearance. While it's still quite rough looking at the moment, you should be able to see the individual bones of the paddle taking place. This whole pen work process took me about two hours in total. So we're nearing the final stages in the preparation process now. This is the stage where we take the prepared fossil and we give it a dip in some acid to crispen it up and make it look a little bit nicer. So let's do that right now. So here we go, quick dip. If you're ever preparing quite a fragile fossil using acid, you can always apply Paraloid B72 and then melt some candle wax and paint that onto the bone and this helps prevent the acid from seeping into the bone surface. Luckily the fossil we're preparing today doesn't need any of that process. It can be put straight in the acid for a little while because it's a very stable piece. 
I personally use acid as more of a finishing tool because I use my air pens to do most of the preparation work. I leave the fossil bubbling away in the acid for about 20 or 30 minutes and afterwards I come back to have a look at the results. It's important to soak your fossil in some fresh water after removing it from the acid. This just removes any of the acid which has seeped into the fossil. Now I'm going to do some air abrasive work. This just cleans off the fossil, making it look a little bit nicer and more presentable. I'm cleaning the matrix and also the bones themselves. It's basically a mini sandblaster. The powder I'm using is aluminium oxide. If you do enjoy watching these fossil preparation videos, I do intend to do more on my channel, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. I also post weekly fossil hunts on my local beach, so make sure you check them out if you are interested. The ichthyosaur paddle is now fully prepared, so it's time for a final coat of paraloid, and then we're good to go. So here it is, I'm really happy with how this piece has turned out, a lovely ichthyosaur flipper or paddle. Let's do a side by side comparison with my other paddle. Tell me which paddle do you prefer, left or right? If any of you would like to purchase this exact fossil that I prepared today, it will be available on the website very soon, buyafossil.com. Keep an eye out if you are interested, thank you. Now as a little bonus to any of you guys who have made it this far along in the video, I'm going to show you another awesome paddle find. I had a very lucky streak a few years ago at winter time when I found this paddle in two sections which had washed out of the very same section of the cliff. If I remember right I found each section about two weeks apart from each other. Whenever I'm at this particular section of the beach I always have a good look out to see if there's any more of the ichthyosaur washed out but so far I've had no luck. Maybe one day. Hopefully you have all enjoyed the video and I'll see you all on the next one.